Hello, Jamie from Inky and Scrappy sharing with you today an actual scrapbook layout. We're going to call this Scrap and Chat. I don't actually go into what I'm doing. You can watch. I think you can figure it out for the most part. If you have specific questions on certain die, like sizing, I can maybe figure that out for you. Ask below and I will try to find that for you, but I'm not going to put in the effort if nobody wants it anyways. I am using some super old scrapbook paper from close to my heart. I couldn't tell you exactly what year this stuff is from because I have not been a consultant for them from for a long time, but this one says online instructions available through August 2013. So I'm guessing this paper pack is 2012. Maybe that's probably about the time I quit scrapbooking. How do I know this? Because when I was putting together my son's graduation party album, that's what I'm missing. About 10 years of scrapbook pages or layouts or just, you know, pictures of him at that age. I have the ones that we took and hung on the walls. But above and beyond that, I didn't print pictures for a, a long while because I was just overwhelmed with how far behind I was. And so, yeah, I just kind of dropped the ball there. I probably should have been working on this like last year already or maybe in February when I broke my thumb. Eh, we'll wait until two weeks before, right? It's all good. So I used to consult for Close to My Heart only for the discount. I really didn't sell anything to make money. I was a consultant, quote unquote, for the discount. Because when you scrapbook, you go through a, at least 12 by 12. You go through a lot of paper. I went through a lot of paper. And so it was also super easy to coordinate your ink colors, your paper colors, with your patterns because they all you know intermingled or coordinated together so it was just a lot easier to go that route I did do a little bit of card making but not a whole lot of card making at that point just because you know I was enjoying the scrapbook aspect of it and I did a lot of that and then I had like a you know it was one of those like oh I went to the, I didn't make cards frequently, and so I went to town, and it was like May or something, because I needed graduation or graduation cards, Mother's Day cards, and some birthday cards, and I was just like flabbergasted that I spent fifty or sixty dollars on cards, and I'm like, I have all that paper at home, and all those stamps. I'm like, I could just make cards, and it would be way cheaper. That is the biggest lie I've ever told myself in crafting. It will be way cheaper to make my own cards than to buy them at the store. Yep, biggest lie ever. And my husband believed me when I told him that. I believed me when I told me that. Yeah, he knows now that we were both really naive and gullible. <laughs> As I spend way more in card making than I ever did scrapbooking. Anyways. But yes, that's kind of how I got into cards and away from scrapbooking because it was instant gratification when it came. Cards were smaller. They were easier to lay out. You know, you would do like one little aspect. It was basically like an embellishment puddle that I would do for a scrapbook layout, but on a card. And then I didn't have to do all the other stuff. So it kind of got, it was fun. And it is fun. And I love it. But now that I do more scene cards than I used to do. My scene cards end up taking me longer than this scrapbook layout took me. So yeah, it's all good. It was fun. It's fun to change it up once in a while. So I did end up stamping. I had the coordinating stamp set with this one. If you are interested, I can look and see if I can find something that's similar, but Use what you have on hand. I did not go out and buy anything to do these. It's everything that I already have. Granted, I have a small or rather large scrapbook 
store collection, you know, supply on hand. And so I just used what I had. To me, scrapbook layouts are all about kind of what looks good to your eye. And so everybody else is going to have a different, you know, design layout, just like in card making or in any form of art. We all kind of have our own style and what we think looks good. So to me, this is what looked good. And I go through a process. I change my mind. I like stuff. I don't like stuff. I, you know, and I have pages that I've done that I hated when I did them. And then I go back and look at them and I'm like, oh, they're not too bad. Or I really like that aspect or the other aspect. And I'm sure it's just because it didn't turn out how I wanted it to in the moment. This was probably the biggest piece that I did for this one that would very much be something you could do on a card. I ended up cutting that Eiffel Tower. It's all on my Cricut. So this one coordinated with this actual stamp set. And so I cut this one out just super big. And then I used a black embossing powder and a holographic embossing powder to give it some sparkle and shine so it would kind of pop off of that other black background. I was just filling in space. I didn't have any other pictures that I felt I wanted to use here, but I didn't want to leave that much open space. And so that was kind of how the Eiffel Tower ended up on the side of my scrapbook page here. So a funny, funny story about the picture. So you know I'm so far behind. And so I finally was like, but I'm missing everything here. So I'm like, well, I will do prom and work my way backwards. Like, just get a few key ones. So I had gone on last Friday, spent about an hour going through pictures, picking out what I figured I needed, getting some bigger prints, some regular size prints for probably about eight to ten pages or layouts I should say layouts and so that was my sole purpose of going to town last Friday was to pick up these pictures of course I stopped and got some of the lawn fawns new release but nobody else needs to know about that and so I picked up groceries and all the other stuff and I made my last stop Walmart because I knew I needed to get the pictures. So I went in, got some groceries that we were in need of, some last minute prom stuff that I was going to need, and checked out. And then I drove my little happy butt home, and I got about five miles from home. And I was thinking in my head, well, I can work on this layout this afternoon yet and get it going. And that was at the point that I remembered. I forgot to pick up the pictures while I was at Walmart. And so I have cold stuff in the back of my car. And yeah, I'm like, that's going to be another hour and a half. If I have to turn around and go to town, because it's a good half hour drive from where I was currently located to get back to the Walmart that had my pictures. And then to wait for them to actually pull the pictures because we all know that they're great about having somebody in all the departments that yeah no it's and it ended up so I was lucky enough that my sister-in-law was headed to town and so I called her and said can you and so she said yes and of course it did it took her 20 minutes to get them to pull the pictures out <sighs> So now I owe her a thank you card and probably a cup of coffee. My endless gratitude. So I did get them on Friday, just not how I was supposed to get them on Friday. Way to go, Jamie. Goes to town to pick up pictures. Forgets to pick up pictures. Yep, that's the story of my life. So I'm just adding some last minute touches here. The moon is a die from MFT Stamps and the stars are from Taylor Expression. I'm pretty sure the stars were like a clearance out, not available anymore, but they might still be. I don't know. The moon was, I think, uh, on its way out when I bought that one too. I like to buy stuff on clearance because it'll work. 
it doesn't to me it doesn't matter if it's brand new I will use it in the end but there is the final layout and then some closer pictures of those I will have the stills up on my blog so if you want to check those out there thank you so much for hanging with me today and have a great great day